that instantaneous. He's going to have to go back and do it manually. All right. Hey, thanks for coming to this segment of TED TV. We have Larry Hankin with us on this set. It's so exciting. He's much if, more than an actor. If you come across this clip and you haven't seen the first one, you got to go back on YouTube and, and go get the first clip of Larry Hankin. It's really marked. And then, uh, and then join us, okay? Uh, we have Scarlett Savage with us on this set, and it's the second time shooting from the Talking Stick. And uh, you know, like we got a brand new set, and we got a, I got an audience, and we love you guys. And thank you for being here. And we were just buttoning, uh, we were buttoning up uh, uh, a talk about sometimes Jones, and this is a character that uh, he's like, a street character. He's he is he's character. brilliant though. But see, like, your writing is brilliant. I just oh. love your writing and your voice because he narrates his own story. It's, it's, yeah. it's just done so well. They're ten, <laughs> minute, they're ten minute fables, and you're gonna get a link. So go to my page and find the link because I want you guys to see at least one of these. Yeah, there'll be a there'll be a, a book out, uh, and then uh, and then I think there's gonna be a CD out. And uh, when all that happens, I'll. I'll come back and make an announcement. Oh, you bet. Yeah, you're here once a month, so you can. He's like a. He's like a. Uh, he's a street. He's a runaway. He's a, He's a, he ran away at 15, uh, and he ran away to San Francisco. Then he came down here, and he, he he's kind of a. He's a pickpocket. Um, yeah. He's kind of. He's kind of Charlie Chaplin, really. Only at 15. He's uh -huh. just Chaplin at 15. You know. I uh, I can see that because I I watched one episode like five times last night. Oh, how many episodes? Well, I was uh, well. I keep writing them all the, all the time. There's like there's sometimes Jones talks to God. Sometimes Jones in the economy. Sometimes Jones and uh, who does the artwork the, on? The, uh, I do. I do. Uh, see, this is this is a you just self produced God. Sagittarius. I wow. want to be a Sagittarius. I'm a triple Leo, actually. Sun, wow. moon, and rising. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, her and I are both Leo. Right? Right? right. right. I, I know. Hey, that. Larry Hank could just call me hot. What are you? What's that? <laughs> what are you? What sign are you? Leo. His birthday is two days oh after mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This place is on fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Right? Be ruled by the sun. Look at that's my uh, that's my god. I, I promised sun. myself I wasn't going to do this, but he would be perfect as Buddy in my play. She'd oh, like stop! You're not going to sit here and do that. Sorry, not going to. I promised him. I did it. You don't bring that to my show. <laughs> this is real <laughs> life, folks. I just this is, stuff. and you know what? And see, I didn't even. We never even talk about what we will talk about and what we won't talk about on the air. Nope, so live. This is live, and, and Larry's free to walk away if I say the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> I hope I, know. I can, actually. Yeah, I, I know. Let's just walk over to his table over there. there. I do have to get this one text because we received this text earlier. Some questions for you, and oh, I wow. love this question. This is, from, this is from Brian Karaoke. Uh, let me get your karaoke up here. He goes, ask a question for Mr. Hank. Oh, wow. All right. What director besides yourself did you like working with the most? What production? What did you get out of it? And then we have also what is your favorite ice cream? So that's a great that's question. That's a great, great question. Series of questions. Let's start with the very first one. What was your favorite? I'm gonna director? let him. I'm gonna let him. You can got it. Pistachio. All right. <laughs> I love pistachio too. That's one of my favorites. And uh, next is French vanilla. Okay, so we got that out. <laughs> All right, that's all the way. You know it now, first. Brian. Yes. Um, then, uh, well, you know, this, people ask me that question a lot. I don't know why, but they do. Uh, okay, the, the, the two best are Don Siegel in uh, Escape from Alcatraz. Oh. Uh -huh. He Excellent. was, uh, then the sec, because I learned a lot from him because I was on Alcatraz for about three months, so I, I was wow. there every day, so that was kind of cool. Um, and then the second one would be John Houston, which I was in Annie, uh, but I only was with him for like two or three days, but a very sharp guy. John <laughs> Houston on what? Annie. 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 You know, Annie, the movie, Annie the musical. That was John Houston? John Houston. Wow, well, you, know, you don't think John Houston when you think Annie. That, wow. No, right. you don't. That's no, amazing. you don't. Excellent. He was kind of cool. He, he uh, said, i tell you John Houston, quick John Houston story. When I auditioned, I had really long hair down, down here. You know, it was back in the day. You know, really down to here. But uh, I was up for the part of the dog catcher, which I got. And the, uh, and the, uh, Casting director really, I guess, wanted me to get the part. She was pushing for me, and so she took me in front. She actually led me by the hand in front of Mr. Houston, who was sitting in the director's chair, just minding his own business. <laughs> and um, 
And she said, this, this is Larry. And she took me and placed me in front of him. And then from behind, took my hair and pulled it back. And he said, you know, because, uh, you know, this is what he will, let me just stop. Get away from him. Get away from him. That was his first line. Get away from him. Get away from him. And I went, what? I froze. And she said, and she didn't know what to do. And she says, please don't touch my actors. <laughs> and, uh, wow. like that. and she said, well, I was just trying to, she says, I am well aware of what you would look like. I'm a director. <laughs> I have eyes. <laughs> please don't ever touch my I, I, thought that was wow. I respect that in a direct. That's and great. That is his act. But I, but his 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 um, respect for somebody who's trying to get a job. I mean, basically, right. that's all. Well, also, when John Houston calls you one of his actors, that must be a spine tingling moment. Right oh there. yeah. Well, yeah. He, he was. I think. I don't know if he meant that I had the job right there, and he was saying right. But he was. He was the saying. That he was like, well, you know, listen, the guy's trying to audition here. He's he just stop him. What are you doing with him? I was you know, he's once. not a pet. He's like a dog, you know. The winner, right. first place, put you know one hand under here. Yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> you, know, you know, that's what he was. So, so that's why I really, you know. But he was kind of. I don't know. I think you probably sharp. had decided but he wanted but, you at that point. But you know, yeah. I had a. See, I like this story because, like, I had a. Uh, my first film I did against the tide of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, okay, which yeah, never yeah. went anywhere in the U.S. I got a nation release. Was that Jeff Palmer's film? No, no, no. Uh, Will Berliner's film against okay. the tide, and uh, the film was just. It was a lot of money and a terrible film, and it went away. Um, uh, but the director on that set, I just felt like. Talking, walking furniture. That's how I was treated. Yeah. I was the title role, and, and I'm not trying to be a diva, but the crew, the, the crew 23 that built that show and made that show happen, they were they were catered to, and, and any actor was just like you know pushed around. You had to stand over there, you know, because we're, it wasn't at the level where we had stand-ins. And I don't care. I'm working. I love working. But treat me with respect. You know, and when the director does that, whether you're cast or not, that's just respect. Absolutely. You know, I know, I love, I love his comeback on there. I have eyes, I can see. You know, I'm a director. I don't need you to pull back a man's hair. Then that's really good. I'm just glad you shared this. We have a John Houston story now. I'm that's so awesome. excited. I want to make so sure we get a spread that you. Uh, let me, let me get the second one off. Yeah, yeah, let's cut this. We're gonna Welcome be right back, guys. Right back. You're not going anywhere. And the live audience is watching. Can you tell how many people are watching at a given moment? Right now we've got, um, I think, 